Hi, my name is Joe Sullivan. Welcome to a short video on Layer 2 Looping. Uh, as we know, Layer 2 is the data link layer and switches will work at this. So this demonstration is going to demonstrate how Layer 2 uh, Looping works. And what we're going to look at are two 3560 switches by Cisco. And all I'm going to do is uh, turn off a uh, spanning tree between them uh, on two ports, uh, 22 and 24. Uh, and interconnect the switches using a crossover cable. And what I'm going to do then is uh, provision a VLAN 1 management interface address on both or your favorite VLAN. Go ahead and ping to a make-believe broadcast address and then push the information out as, on a uh, monitoring port. And so you can see here uh, I have two switches here. Show monitor and then we can do a session one I have port monitoring on both session one and I'm gonna go ahead and you could ping to a make-believe address 2.0.0.255 as it ping goes through I'm gonna look at the uh, show interface FA022 I'm gonna look at my load my receive load is already 192 I established just a few pings now, this is with spanning tree off you see my Wireshark is not liking this. It's already consuming 3,000 megabits. I shut it off. Uh, it is frozen. There's a couple things you could try. You could try setting your bandwidth. I set mine to 10 kilobits per second. But it looks like the monitor session overrid that. It's not operating at 10. It looks like it's operating uh, faster by the speed light. Uh, it would indicate it's still at 100. Uh, so it's not 10 at all. So I push it down to 10 if I do a show uh, interface FA01 and I f confirm that uh, well this is saying it's full duplex media type this uh, bandwidth 10 kilo 10 kilobits per second that's not actually true uh, because my speed indicator on the switch indicates it's still at 100 so it looks like port monitoring can override that uh, the next thing you do is this SSR uh, Q output again port monitor will override that it's between like 10 and 90 percent of your bandwidth speed it'll, it'll be like a rate queuing um, as you can see here the switch is extremely busy and if I can show you link lights are going ballistic they're very fast um, this is a layer 2 switching loop and it's caused because it can't resolve a broadcast if I look at uh, my Wireshark is completely frozen let me shut this down so I'm opening up a different uh, capture I made. It's called, I just made, named it Layer 2 Storm. We see here, uh, I'm going to open a broadcast packet up. This is just a fictitious address I made up. Oh, fictitious. Uh, Switch didn't know how to resolve it in this MAC address table, so I sent a thought to the broadcast. But uh, this is just uh, probably about five seconds of capture. Uh, let's see here. Look at the time. Oh, five, six, oh, my bad. Ten seconds of capture. And uh, it's relatively long. Um, if you look at this, I get 130. Is that wow? Uh, okay, that's a million three hundred thousand in ten seconds. That's my time, 9.98. So not quite 10. Uh, I see all these broadcasts going uh, back and forth. Now I captured both send and receive, so I guess that's double. Uh, but you can see here, it uh, switches frantically trying to ARP. Uh, resolution there's no layer 2 kill switch on this and so basically this loop goes round and round that's my target address I made up 7.4.4.285 I just ping the broadcast and um, it can't resolve it and this goes on until my switch basically goes kapui and I basically am disallowed from using the switch because it's so um, heavily utilized let's see I'm not going to do this in the show interface FA024. If you look at the load, it's already at 192. And this is a five minute interval, too. So, again, how I did this is um, I connected two ports together. I turned off spanning tree between the two ports. Um, I established a port monitoring session on one port, linked that Ethernet cable to my PC, ran Wireshark, and then initiated a few pings. And voila, within about 10 seconds, I got over a million packets at layer 2. Um, and you can look at the uh, link lights on the switch. You'll see a very fast blink uh, with no pause. It's just consistent. 
and eventually my load's going to go all the way up and it's going to bring down the interface entirely. So I don't want this to happen, obviously, so just be careful with spanning tree at layer 2. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.